My roommate doesn't remember being found passed out in a snowbank in the middle of the night a block from our house. Or splayed on his back in the dining room wearing absolutely nothing but tall red rubber boots. My roommate has no idea where he left his last nine bikes. We used to be the best of friends. Now he's a 35-year-old man who is not allowed to use the oven, and I, an adult, have duct taped my smoke alarm to the kitchen wall so he leaves the battery in it when he cooks drunk. It's been suggested that I kick him out. It's a good idea, but I'd rather wait. He'll probably move out on his own soon anyway to somewhere he's allowed to use the stereo. Or he'll fall in love. Or he'll move to Spain. Or for Christ's sakes, he falls down a lot. It's only a matter of time till I find him at the bottom of the basement stairs. I realize that sounds harsh. But it's not like I'm going to push him. I'm just going to sell his stuff later to replace all the things he's broken. <laughs> this is how it was for my mother when she finally gave up on my father. He made her so angry I watched her extinguish a cigarette with the index finger of one hand into the palm of the other, but to leave him, she just waited for him to run off with some floozy or wrap his car around a tree. It's a dark thought, but it's not that she wanted him dead. It's just that she wanted him gone. And there's only so many times they can forge your signature on your own paychecks before the details of their departure become inconsequential. After he left, my father found someone worse than him. He watched her drink herself to death on his couch last year, watched her skin turn yellow, watched her lose the ability to walk, watched her shrivel to 80 pounds, but he kept bringing her scotch till he found her body. He did not heed this as a cautionary tale. He used it as a reason to get drunk. You cannot stop them. They will not stop for you. And when you love them, you find them in snowbanks. You watch them fall up the stairs. As you love them, they f turn vicious, and this all becomes your fault. I'd love to leave an ad on Craigslist. Romate wanted. Utilities not included, must like cats and have control of all bodily functions. But first I'd have to give up on someone I once loved very much and my people have a hard time giving up. So I anticipate the inevitable organ failure that will teach him a lesson for doing this to himself. Don't you judge me. This is not triumphant. I'm just dreaming of a way to make it stop. <laughs>